Rwanda is pioneering an innovative approach to climate resilience, restoring urban wetlands. Today, we delve into Rwanda's inspiring efforts to transform its urban landscapes. In Rwanda, we recognize the role of urban wetlands building the city's climate resilience. Urban wetlands are crucial for maintaining water quality and protecting the larger watershed. They act as buffer zones or sponges to absorb, store, and reprocess harmful substances. Rwanda's urban wetlands, once neglected, are now at the forefront of the nation's commitment to environmental sustainability. These ecosystems are undergoing a remarkable transformation thanks to dedicated restoration initiatives. We are currently facing flash floods as a result of, of, of climate change. And being a country that is hilly and having only valleys, you have the opportunity of using the functions of the wetland to absorb the amount of water that is flowing from the hillsides. Um, an example would be a sponge. If you have water in a sponge, it will suck as much water as possible and release it slowly. So the wetlands themselves will facilitate in avoiding or reducing the amount of floods that have been affecting uh, the, the, the country itself. Rapid urbanization has posed threats to Rwanda's urban wetlands, compromising their ability to support biodiversity and act as natural buffers against climate-related risks. Rwanda has embarked on an ambitious journey to restore its urban wetlands. From community-led cleanup campaigns to innovative green infrastructure projects, the nation is setting an example for the world. Restoring urban wetlands is not just uh, about preserving nature, it's also about building climate resilient cities. Uh, these restored ecosystems act as uh, nature buffers against floods, uh, as well as enhancing water quality and also uh, contributing to a more sustainable urban environment. Before restoration of uh, Nyandungu Eco Park, we used to experience floodings that could literally lead to loss of human lives, could damage properties and uh, infrastructure, and could also distract crops and livestock. We no longer have actually this challenge after Nyanung was restored. The success of Rwanda's wetland restoration initiatives lies in the active involvement of communities, from school children to local businesses. Everyone plays a role in safeguarding these vital urban ecosystems. As we embark on this journey, let us remain mindful of the countless benefits that urban wetlands provide us from acting as natural filters for pollutants to serving as heavens for diverse flora and fauna. Let us seize this opportunity to not only correct past mistakes, but to set a precedent for responsible urban planning that values the delicate balance between progress and nature. As Rwanda continues to lead the way in environmental stewardship, the restoration of urban wetlands stands as a testament to the nation's commitment to building a climate-resilient future. The lush landscapes and thriving biodiversity paint a picture of hope and sustainability for generations to come.